Everyone, we sung the drug gamer here. Back for some Resident Evil 3. I don't trust anything. Nice! Oh, fuck. Oh my god, this guy's a spaz. Squid! Oh, come on, we all know you're not dead. Okay, maybe you're dead. But we all know you're not dead. Oh god, she's up. Oh fuck! Where the heck am I? Uh, so, I really should set that back to the bottom. If I accidentally use my freaking grenade, I would have much rather have it be right here. Really? Nothing? Come on. How is he still alive? Okay, let's be honest. I knew he was... <laughs> we all knew he was still alive. Like, come on. The game was originally titled after him. It's like saying Resident Evil 2, Mr. X, yet Mr. X only appears in the second half. Even though William... I guess, G has a much more, you know, known presence. Is there anything in the water that's gonna kill me? Okay, more ammo. Nice. And this. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michaela's Clock Tower is a Brocray-style building, which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon, and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michelle's Church erected this tower in 1908, with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 12th century, and the student body of St. Michaela's Elementary swelled up to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michaela's Elementary was shuttered, uh, shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premise. Years passed with this one beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michaela Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. That's good. I wish I had that grenade. Oh, come on. Bitch. 
bitch can't even swim. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh god! Chill. Chill, what happened? Chill. Oh my god, what the frick? Run, 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 run! Oh, fuck! This is definitely new! Fuck, I missed. Grab everything. Move it! I do not trust myself. There's nothing to like fire. Oh my god. Yep, which is why we use mine.
Die already! This guy just won't die! I was not ready. Gotcha! I was gonna put that up there for now. Oh, come on. Oh my god, come on! How many bullets does this guy take? Not fast enough. Die already. Quick. I'm dead. Okay, what the frick? I loaded so much into that guy. Seriously, what the frick? Oh god. Okay. Okay, this is my fault. I am not paying attention. Oh my god, this guy is a pain. Side. Oh, come on! Um. But are you okay? Come on, I dodged that. Oh, come on, really? Please, give me some space! Just kill me. How do I do wars when I know what to do? 
my god! Why is that always the case with me where when I know what to do, I'm screwed? Move it, move it, move it. Ah! I'm slow. Oh, I can't dodge if I am. Okay, so that's what's going on. I can't dodge if I am. Suck it! <laughs> My god, can I please just dodge? What's in my life? Ah! I need a heal. Come on. Yeah, I wanted to grab items. Oh my god. I'm curious. Oh, I can't do that. Come on! I'm gonna kill you! I don't know if that actually helps or not. But what I said is true. Oh, wrong ammo. Oh, frick, I did not know that was actually a thing that could happen. Okay. Come on. Okay. More mine. I had the quick ammo type, why did I do that? Okay. Okay, clear where he lands, run up and stop firing. Oh, come on. Run along. Back 
activate it. Got him! Right, let's do this. Stop it! Go down! difficult then I signed up for <sighs> good news is most of my ammo are strong now and it's good that they let me loot the area but god dang oh come on Nice shot! Ow! What the heck? Nikolai! Interesting. You've done me a big favor. Why are you here? Wait, why did Nemesis not attack you? Half a day later? B, I don't feel so good. Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I. I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Yeah, this ha does happen, but... Wow, they kind of skipped the clock tower. Go. I got you. They kind of skipped the clock tower a bit. Because everything so far is that... Raccoon City Police Department was a small area. It was small-scaled. You don't even visit the East Wing. Everything is roughly what happened. Except Bard. Bard is new. Spencer Memorial Hospital? Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. I don't think the vaccine's gonna help. Be okay. I promise. Ooh, save point. Let's see. Wow, that fight took a while. Okay, now everything makes sense. I do kind of regret skipping. But oh well. I guess that's gonna be it for this time. I'm sorry I didn't get to talk much during uh, Nemesis fight. That was new. You do fight Nemesis at the clock tower. And Jill does get infected. But the thing is, in the actual battle... Nemesis did not mutate. At least he didn't mutate into whatever that was. And in a cutscene, he hits Joe with a tentacle, infecting her. And through the entire fight, you're infected with the T-Virus. And if you pull up the status menu, as you can see here, it says fine in the bottom left. It'll just say T-Virus. As in you're infected. So, the entire fight, you don't even know what your health is at. 
So you just have to base it on her animations and figure out if she's limping, she should probably get a heal. But the whole clock tower part got skipped. Because what would happen is, Joe gets infected, Jill beats Nemesis, Nemesis goes away, kind of like what he did here. And then, uh, Carlos finds Jill, carries her into the clock tower, more specifically into the church, lays on the table there, and then he goes gets the vaccine. Then he goes to the hospital, gets the vaccine, give it to her, yada yada yada. So this is interesting, and I can't. It's Brad's. You'll be safe in here, little buddy. I just realized something. I don't know if it's good or not, but you don't really need this. The storage box. You don't exactly need it. Considering... I probably should just be ending this off. I apologize. It's going on a rant because I'm walking and thinking. But no. The storage box is... It's not useless, but... There's almost never a time when I find that I actually use it in this game. In Resident Evil 2... There was actually a point for me because I can't carry all my weapons. And I guess if you want to put your grenade launcher in here, you can. But my problem with it is... That's kind of the only ammo I have for gel right now. <laughs> I have some shotgun on me. I have no pistol, really. So... I guess I'm just going to be using shotguns for regular enemies from here on out. <laughs> but no, like, I don't even need to use this as Carlos, because Carlos doesn't get that much to begin with. And Brad's ID card, I'm just putting it in there because it's Brad. So it's just kind of weird. But anyways, I really should end it. So that's all for this time. This is We Sonic the Joe Gamer. I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and I hope to see all you guys again next time. I know I'm saying my outro really, really fast, but that's because I want to end this. Goodbye.